Gee, he's walking like an old man in a young dog's body. Archie's a handful. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> And it's not just the physical problems that he's got going on, but also the behavioural ones. Come on. No. Peggy just wants to do the best for Archie, but this is an odd couple. What's been going on? Oh, lots. He, um, he bit me. What? Aren't you so handsome? I love you to bits. I really, really love you to bits. Nearby, one of Scott's favourite patients, three-year-old Archie, is having a morning cuddle before his appointment at the Richmond practice. Do you love me? Hey, do you love me as well? Do you? That's 74-year-old Peggy rescued the British Bulldog several months ago after a friend guilted her into it. She said she had a bulldog that needed a good home, and I said, no. And then she said, but it's been in the rescue centre for 10 weeks now and it really needs a good home and you could look after it. So having buttered me up, I said yes. Give us a kiss, go on. No, a proper one. Thank you, that was lovely. <laughs> when I first saw Archie, I thought that is a big dog. That is big. And he leapt up at me and scratched my hand and drew blood. And I thought, well, this is some kind of relationship here, isn't it, you know? I like to be treated rough. <laughs> I love you. You're my baby, aren't you? But as much as Peggy adored Archie, there were problems. Would you like a massage, sir? Firstly, the bulldog wasn't house trained. He then started emptying his bladder in various places over the house, especially my bed, which I wasn't happy about. And I thought of changing his name to Niagara. How's that foot? Is it working today? Is it? But within a few weeks, Peggy realised Archie was battling a far more serious issue. He didn't want to walk. I took him to the park, and all he wanted to do was to get back in the car. He wasn't interested in walking. I thought that was very strange. Oh, he's really bad. Archie is now on medication, but lately the pain appears to be getting a lot worse. I did feel really sorry for him. He was coping, but I know that they're stoic dogs and that they'll cope with things that other dogs can't cope with. Today, the bulldog is on his way to see Scott for x-rays. I knew I'd taken on something that I might not be able to um, cope with. Let's go and say hello to the vet. Come on then, baby. So Jess, what do we have on this afternoon? Oh, we've got Archie in today. Archie. He's a good boy, isn't he? At the Richmond practice, vet nurse Ryan is teasing his colleague Jess about their next patient. Have you got him out of the car before? No, I haven't. I think it'll be good for your training. OK, we'll yeah. see how that goes then. <laughs> it's definitely your turn. OK. <laughs> Outside, Peggy and the infamous Archie are just pulling up. To make it easier for the bulky bulldog to get in and out of the car, Peggy removed the front passenger seat. Archie laid claim to the car. I think he must have lived in a car. It must have been his kennel, if you like, because he made it his own. Come on. And he didn't like other people, especially men, trying to get him out of the car. Hey, Archie. Hey. Oh. Just, it's an overwhelming feeling of dread. <laughs> there's, there's a serious risk of losing an arm. Come on. Yeah. I think we need Scott. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. So Jess and I looked at each other and we said, do you know what? We admit defeat. It's time for Scott. Neither of us are that brave. Um, it's his practice, it's his arm. Come on. No. <laughs> Excuse me. Bad behaviour is not tolerated. Come on. Right. There we go. That was a bit naughty, wasn't it? Come on in, you old grump. Here we go. Come on. I first met Peggy and Archie in the clinic and straight away I thought, this is an odd couple. 
Gee, he's walking like an old man in a young dog's body. Archie's a handful. There's no doubt about that. And it's not just the physical problems that he's got going on, but also the behavioural, the mental ones. But Peggy just wants to do the best for Archie, and I salute her for that. She's an absolute star. You're extra grumpy. It just shows you extra sore, doesn't it, you poor boy? It's a little feel of those elbows. Wow, they're feeling very, very thickened and actually quite swollen at the moment. Good boy. So what I'm feeling here, Peggy, is just I'm sort of feeling almost of nuts and bolts under the skin. Mm. So there's little bits of bone that are rolling about in that mm. joint. I always think of him as almost like a, a bodybuilder. You know where they go, ooh, ooh, and they sort of yeah. they, they pump up. Yes, um, yes. And he's sort of doing that at the front. Yes. Um, and by doing so, he's sort of top-loading the front part of his body, and I think that's just wearing him out quicker than he should be. For a three-year-old, I would never expect arthritis. Archie, yep. That's it. Good boy. Well done. X-rays should give Scott the answers. Go. Good lad. Good lad. Oh, it's times like this I wish we invested in an elevator. Hi, <laughs> big boy. <laughs> Come on, it's like Good carrying boy. a fairy rhino. I absolutely love Archie. He is like having a bromance with a dog. He's this big, burly, blokey dog. You got your fingers and toes out the way? Yeah, all out the way. All important okay. appendages out the way. Good boy. These are terrible elbows. It's a tragic story if we do find that he does have arthritis. X-rays. He's chilled out a little bit now, hey? You relaxed? I'm certainly warming into him more now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's, he's a good boy. He's a champ. <laughs> he's just misunderstood, but he's grumpy for a very good reason, yeah. aren't you? Because you're just sore. At the Richmond Clinic, Scott and Ryan are waiting for Archie's X-ray results. After nearly taking Ryan's hand off earlier, there's been a truce between vet nurse and bulldog. It was great to see Ryan finally be able to see the good side of Archie, the happy side, the non-bitey side. I forgive you. I do. Whenever he's not in that car, he always acts beautifully and he's a perfect gentleman for me. All right, Peggy, I've got your boy. Can't stop, he's heavy. Okay. You follow me in. There we go. In you come. Worried owner Peggy is about to find out just how much trouble her Archie is in. This is his elbow joint here. Mm -hmm. And what you can see is you can see these white bits of fluff. That's arthritic change. That's what's causing the problem. We've got new bone, we've got bone breaking down, building up all at the same time. And that's that nuts and bolts that I can hear and what I can feel yeah. when, I, when I flex and extend his elbow. The x-rays are concerning. Archie's just three years old, which works out to about 21 human years. It's like a young man, but with joints of a granddad. There's no drug that exists that's going to fix that. What we need to do is something quite brave, which is to go for arthroscopy. What arthroscopy is, is basically placing instruments into the joint to actually clean all those changes out of the joint. Mm -hmm. And I've got, luckily enough, a very, very good mate who is very good at arthroscopy, and I know that he's gonna take very good care of you and Archie. I think it's wonderful, I really do. It gives him another chance, and um, a chance to get back on his feet, literally. Wonderful. I didn't think there was an operation. I thought this was how it was going to be, and it would only get worse, so it was like another door opening, actually. I was absolutely delighted. Peggy and Archie are on the road to High Wycombe to see specialist orthopaedic surgeon Michael Hamilton. My friend Rod is going to take me to the surgery and he's got a wonderful car, so we'll arrive like royalty and that's what Archie likes. He likes to be a bit royal. This time, the feisty Archie gets out of the car without a fight. Oh, what a little treasure, here we are. Getting him out of the car was really easy this morning. We had no trouble at all. Oh, what a good boy. No temperament or anything. He just came out easily. OK, so just extension first of all. Ready, one, two, three. Scott's already sent Archie's x-rays, and Michael is now using the hands-on approach. He's interested. And then this little specific test, right, ready? Ready, one, two, three. Hello, uh, hello, hello. 
Sorry, big man. I'm just gonna do that again. Right, ready, one, two, three. Oh. There we go. Oh, still friends. <laughs> still friends. <laughs> there we go. Oh. I think that's quite conclusive, isn't mm. it? Okay. Mm. Well done, you. I got his elbow joint there and I just kind of rubbed it and I poked him right on that little spot there. Yes. And that little spot there, that little corner of bone, very commonly is the bit that just sits a bit proud. So if this is his radius here, and this is the notch of his ulna here like that, that should be a perfect fit. If it's not a perfect fit, and that little corner of bone maybe sits a little bit proud like that, mm -hmm. it can start to rub, mm -hmm. or little bits can start to crack off. And when I poked in there, we got, we, we got quite a reaction. Yes. And for, a, for a bulldog, that's probably that, quite significant. That's, yes, yes. So this is a really, really frustrating disease to treat. There is no magic bullet. The point of today was to see where we are. The plan, put the camera in, see what we find. Based on what we find, depends on what we do. But we're not gonna be massively aggressive because we don't need him to start kind of, you know, catching the bad guys like the Met police dogs need to do kind of thing. Mm. We just need to get him out of pain, basically. Mm. Just a bit stressed, that's all. And uh, can't wait to get down the pub for a gin and tonic. <laughs> oh, look at that. Flying along. Come on, you. This way. This way. He's a good boy. I'll speak to you soon, Peggy. OK. Take care. Yes. Come on, then. Thank you. Sleepy, sleepy. So his elbow is a bit like an old person's knee. And if he was an old person, um, the doctors would be talking about things like knee replacement. So this is the actual arthroscope, which is going to illuminate inside the joint. That's then transmitted to this thing, which is a camera, so it gets made into a picture of what we're going to see inside the joint. Owner Peggy is hoping this surgery will improve her Archie's quality of life. I hope that I'll be frolicking, frolicking, <laughs> frolicking through the park soon. Yes, I do. With my dog, of course, not on my own. Camera goes in. My first impression, having just got the camera in, is this does not look very nice at all. All that red stuff there, that's, that's inflammation of his joint capsule. He's got arthritis, he's had it for ages. That there, on the bottom of the screen, is red bone. As soon as the camera went in, first thing you could see, red bone. What you want to see is white, shiny, articular cartilage. Straight away, red bone is not good news. That is his ulna that I was hoping just to see a little crack in there. That's got no cartilage on it. This dog has got really, really severe cartilage erosion. That means that the less invasive options for him are not on the table anymore. The only options he's got surgically are pretty full-on procedures, cutting bones, plates and screws. Michael's now decided to use a cutting-edge therapy. A platelet-rich plasma injection using Archie's own blood will be injected into his elbow. Success. <laughs> Fair enough. What we've done is we've taken a blood sample from him and we've treated it in such a way that we've collected these little things called platelets, which will release these little anti-inflammatory proteins. And we put those into the joint, into his elbow joint. And that will do nothing for the cartilage, but what it will do is it'll hopefully make the whole joint just less angry, less inflamed and less painful. Done. And I'm happy a dog. And a happy owner and a happy vet. It's time to transfer the beefy Archie into a recovery cage. Michael can't resist having a go at his good mate. I don't know what Scott was, was uh, moaning about. He's like a feather. I can, I can lift him with one arm. Not what Scott's banging on about. He's got significant loss of cartilage in his elbow joint. So it's not great news with regard to the cartilage that he's got. So right. it's a, it was a bit of a nasty surprise we got, yeah. rather than a nice yeah. surprise, yeah. okay? Yeah. Now he doesn't know that though. No. Don't tell him, No, okay? I won't. I'm not shocked or surprised. I, I thought that there was something pretty serious going on. Here he comes. Here he comes. Archie! Archie, go, baby! Arch. Oh, my little baby! <laughs> So he wins a little rosette for being brave. So the plasma injection, that will hopefully make him feel a whole lot better. For how long? How long is a piece of string? Hopefully, long term. 
He's getting the cut and edge treatment, you know, this is kind of what they do in people. So uh, uh, your job, difficult as it might is, try and get him as lean as you can. Yes, I can do that. <laughs> I will definitely Sorry, do mate. That. <laughs> if you have to see him again, there'll be less of him to good see. Good stuff, good stuff. Thank hey, you look, very much. All the best. Thank you you take care, take care Thank of each you. other. See you, Archie. If we can just get him to have his walk in the park with Peggy, that's what it's all about. And I would be optimistic we can get there. And if that needs surgery down the line, fair enough. But for now, all hope's on the plasma. So we'll see how we get on. Look at that. He's walking better already. It's been two weeks since Archie received his magic plasma injection. I don't know what this plasma was or what it consists of, but it certainly worked for Archie. He's walking much, much better. It's not a permanent solution, but it's certainly making his life more comfortable. That is very good. Wonderful. I've just had a phone call from Peggy and she sounds really upset. I don't know what's going on, but something's definitely happened. She doesn't want to talk about it over the phone, so I'm just going to drive straight to her house now, check up on Archie and just see exactly what's going on. Hello, Scott. You all right? She yes. sounded pretty distressed on the phone. What's been going on? Oh. Oh, lots. He, um, he bit me. What? Where did he bite you? Show me. Oh, God, Peggy. Well, he was having a sort of choking fit and I got worried and this was one o'clock in the morning. I got yeah. worried and um, I just called the emergency vet. Yeah. A vet nurse arrived and decided to take Archie back to the clinic to make sure nothing was stuck in the bulldog's throat. But once again, Archie's car issues made him lash out. He snapped at her, I grabbed his head here and pulled him towards my right hand. Mm -hmm. He bit it. So really, I was trying to save her and um, didn't quite do it properly. Dogs get black banned as being aggressive as soon as they bite. And I'm someone who absolutely backs that up. In the case of Peggy, this was one situation where a stressed dog bit someone in a point of madness. I don't think that he meant to bite Peggy, but he did. Uh, I just absolutely love him and, and I absolutely love you. Um, you're, you're such a force of nature and, and so is he. And it's just, it, it's heartbreaking to see that, that this hasn't worked out. I can't say. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. I just, I love him to bits. I love you. I love you to bits, darling. Oh, thank you. I've got a kiss. <laughs> I knew in my heart of hearts that I couldn't really keep him, but there is somebody who's the right owner for him in the right environment. And if, if you can find that for me, I will be eternally grateful. I couldn't admire Peggy more, but she knows what needs to be done and she's going to do it. And it doesn't matter if it hurts her in the process. I'm going to miss you. I know. Are you going I'm to gonna miss, miss me? I'm going to miss him too. <laughs> grumpy old sod. <laughs> okay, take care. Come on, mate, let's go. Good boy. Come on, mate. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Okay, let's go. I didn't want him to look back. I wanted him to just go out, and he did it. You know, he d he's not going to miss me as much as I'll miss him. Archie will now live at the St Margaret's Clinic as Scott takes on the responsibility of finding the flawed bulldog a new home. I know he will because I know he cares about him almost as much as I do. Come on. That's a good lad.
He's very friendly, just wants to say hi to everyone. Next day, Archie is making his presence felt at his temporary home. Oh, that wasn't as nice as it was supposed to be. I do apologise. Finding the right forever home for the exuberant bulldog is high on Scott's priority list. Fallen in love with this dog a little bit, haven't you? How could you not? Look at this guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> there has also been a good result for Archie. A foster home has finally been found. Oh, a big good boy. In two weeks, the star boarder will be leaving, and these playtimes will be over. Archie has been really the life and soul of the practice for the last few weeks. He's such a character, he's got such a great nature. I don't know whether that's really sweet or whether oh, that's really, really disgusting. disgusting. Don't care, do we, mate? Hmm? Don't care. It's been a bromance and I'm really going to miss him. He's a legend. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. That's good, isn't it? First time you've been on a beach, I would have thought. It's nice that you worked on your bikini body at least. Yeah, well done. And the day has finally arrived. Archie's new foster home is in a seaside town close to Brighton, and Scott is taking him on one last walk. Very important that you behave and let them see how gorgeous you are. Yeah? I've come to the beach today to just spend a little bit more time with Archie and to say goodbye, really. So it's a pretty sad day. It's your last chance, my friend, OK? So take it with both big grubby paws, yeah? Couple of bulldogs, Archie. I think we're here. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Lou from British Bulldog Rescue is going to be Archie's new foster mum. Um, now look, this is Archie. He loves the car. Doesn't like getting out. That's it. But just that moment in time. The rest of the time, he's an absolute sweetheart. Okay. So, here's hi. the chat. Hi! Say hi. Hi, gorgeous. You big handsome brute. I just thought he was adorable. As soon as I saw him through the window, I was like, oh, bless him. He is absolutely gorgeous. Come on then, mate. Out you come. Good boy. There we go. And then he comes out. Good boy. <laughs> there you go. Getting Archie out of the car was always a little nerve-wracking, but thankfully he was the perfect gentleman. He didn't put Lou off at all. She seems completely unfazed by it. Already I'm feeling this is the place for Archie. OK, so this is his new digs then? Yeah, this is where Archie's going to be living. Boy. This is his little safe place. Bright pink water um, bowl. Lucky he's in touch <laughs> with his feminine side, hey? Definitely. This is the garden. Oh. Archie's new home is perfect, so I, I couldn't be happier. I think he's a very, very lucky lad. He's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks Not for looking welcome. after my guy. I You're really, welcome. really appreciate it. It's our I'm, pleasure. I'm really happy that he's found you. Yeah. Thank no, you. No, he's lovely. Archie's future's bright, I think. Um, there's loads of people that are out there waiting for a bulldog like Archie. I think he's going to do really, really well. Scotty loves you. I'll see you soon. Bye, mate. Come on. See ya. Hi, I'm Dr. Kate, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen for more great content. And for free, exclusive, never seen before Bondi Vet stories, you can sign up to bondipet.com, and you can do so via the link in the description.